You can certainly go out for a Chicago date night. That's really fun. But you know what I really love? Staying in. Freaked out and thought I ordered a pizza. Oh my god! It's perfect. She's perfect. That's some good quality pretzel. Look at this schnitzel. Looks like a mustache. I could never grow one. And that's the way I like it. Holy forks, that is ginormous. <laughs> Holy mother forking shirt balls. That's Oops. so much bigger than I thought. Thank you. Oh man. It's a Chicago winter stay in date night. Back to the vlog once again a date night with Allie at home we did this thanks to Aaron O'Donnell at Mother's Ruin Mother's Ruin coming to us today Prost Ein Prost Ein Prost thanks to the one and only Quentin Nelson thanks for feeding me Quentin donated for the vlog this is not just a German feast with potato pancakes schnitzel bratwurst Cheese curds, sauerkraut, french fries, and a gigantic soft pretzel. We've got four epic mustards sent to me from an awesome company in Wisconsin. PS Seasoning, Iron Ridge, Brew City Beer Mustard, Buzzed, Beer Hall Stone Mustard, and Big Dill. All infused with different beers. So we're gonna use these to feast, thanks to Quentin's donation. Unbelievable. Oh, this just gets better and better. Wow. Start with the pretzel? Yeah, go bigger. Stay home. I like that. People are here for my one-liners. I like that. This is a thick pretzel. Would you like this? Thank you. Sans anything first? Try it sans anything first. I like that. That's a salty, well-made pretzel. Somehow I took too big of a bite. <laughs> I'm gonna start right off the bat. I'm gonna use a little bit of these mustards on everything. The Beer Hall Stone Mustard with ground Marzen. Marzen? Marzen? I mean, the consistency looks so much better once you stir it up. It's beautiful. I am such a mustard freak. It's Tangy. Zesty. Oh, it's zesty for sure. I love that. I don't think I've ever met a mustard I didn't like. Yes, you have. Colonel? Oh. <laughs> I took too much. That was your own fault. You we were not too confident. We were at McSorley's in New York City, and I thought it was like this kind of mustard. It was like a wasabi mustard. Almost blew me out of the tri-state area. He died. I love that. Mmm, it's so good. Quentin, this is one of the better gifts. What would you like to try next? Beer cheese. <laughs> You're here for the cheese. They gave us three containers of it. Bless. That is my kind of dip. Yeah, it's gonna be put, put that right by you. Gosh. How was your day, babe? I'm glad it's over and we're here. Sorry I somehow managed to be late to an at-home date night. <laughs> All right, what food's next? Your pick. I really want a french fry. Next up, Big Dill with Dill Pale Ale. I'm gonna go Bratwurst right in this. Do you want any of this one? Yeah, that's an interesting way to cut this. Yeah, rib for our pleasure. <sighs> no? Germans know how to do brats. That's lovely. I'm a fan. Not as zesty, but a nice little dill. It really is. It's not overpowering dill. I love the look of this one. Yeah. That's lovely. Like, I'm really not the biggest bratwurst. <coughs> <laughs> bratwurst fan, but like, this was really good with this. I don't think I like it on the pretzel, but like, this was delightful. 
Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Want to do a potato pancake? So the trick to these is eating it with applesauce. So I think your first bite, you should try it with applesauce. Really? You, yeah, you down for that? Look at that. Look at the like striations of those potatoes in there. It's like little shredded hash browns. My mom always used to make potato pancakes, which I did not like. Really? With like leftover Thanksgiving potatoes. A little bit of the A sauce. Let's do it. I like it with that sweetness. Yeah, it's like we skipped to dessert. <laughs> I'm gonna go Brew City, they're garlic brown for the next bite of this potato pancake. I love potato pancakes. Yeah, this is really interesting. It's better than I thought it was gonna be. It's even sweet on its own. Yeah, it has, does have a sweetness in it. It's a lot of mustard. I love mustard. And my friend, Globby Bites. I just always go into sauces, especially mustards, know I'm gonna like it. Not like it. It really has only backfired on you once. <laughs> That's so delightful. Mm. Really oh was. My. What was this? I love that one. That's my oh, favorite so far. The tang in that one hits. Oops. One teaspoon is the serving size. <laughs> Not in my life. Mm. Also sour cream. I'm a little spicy at the end. Which, why? That's Tang Town. That's Tang Town. Jalapeno. <laughs> Less than 2%. Oh, wow. That's lovely. The wine really is nice. Sean, Allie, why aren't you drinking German beer? When you drink beer, it's harder to eat more. The Germans love their red wine too. So some red wine with the more food. So do I. When I try this weird cheese curd that's coagulated together, showed up like this. It looks like hot glue. It does. This is like Pangea before everything's separated. <laughs> this is just, this, yeah. is, this is a true cheese curd. Warm. There's almost like little to no batter. This is ranch, I think, for it. Still delicious cheese. Cheese ranch. Is ranch German? No. Fully American? <laughs> Ooh, this is just like the case. Like, look how light that is. There's that's, no cheese in it. That's that it just like. the smallest little casing. Schnitzel, my favorite thing. Last time I was in Germany, I hiked the Black Forest and I ate schnitzel for seven straight days for lunch. Really? Never got sick of it. No, no, no. Was obsessed. I think you're gonna like schnitzel. It looks like fried fish. It does. Schnitzel in Germany, traditionally pork. You can do chicken as well. Have fun. Crispy, so tenderized with the mallet. Mmm. Oh yeah. I thought on this, this would be great. Buzzed beer mustard, hot honey ale. So way more spice in this. Hmm. But also you're gonna get some sweet. Just like not over how massive the pretzel is. Isn't schnitzel so good? Yeah, I mean, I'm really not a chicken person. It's kind of delightful. I was worried it was gonna like cut up the roof of my mouth like some panko does. Yeah, ooh, this one's real thick. You really gotta get that honey churning about in there. You gonna try this one? No. <laughs> Globby Bites remains unbeaten. So good. Is it hot? No. It doesn't mm -mm. read like it has anything outside of spices. I think you should try this one, truly. Mm, absolutely lovely spread tonight. Yeah, this is like your dream. Mm-hmm. German food is so slept on. It's like velvety. Spicy? Okay. You like it? Look at you. Keep waiting for like the other taste ball to fall. <laughs> the taste ball. The hammer ball to drop. I like it. I think my favorite is the Brew City Beer Mustard, the Garlic Brown. This is the one that I'm like most excited to go back to. I mean, it's spicy, so that makes sense. It's just so such a good tang to me. There's so much. Call them G-Bites for nothing. Quentin, these are the best mustards I've ever been sent. You absolutely nailed it. It's funny, we haven't even tried their mustards. They have a, a sweet, a spicy, a regular. The hot honey might be my favorite. Whoa. I know, I feel like it's a little too early to predict. <laughs> Zestier on the potato. Ah! Oh God, can you take some of this if it's too much? Yeah, I think I like the dill with the bratwurst. I like the hot honey on the chicken. 
I like the applesauce on the potato. Oh yeah. And the pretzel and the beer cheese. And the cheese and the ranch. What my baby wants, my baby gets, you know that. What my baby wants, my baby gets, you know that. There's a sauce for all of the foods. Oh, there's so many sauces. 15 sauces on this table. <laughs> the brat in the beer cheese because we can. It works. How happy on a scale of one to 10 are you? How do you say 10 in German? 10 in German is same. That many. Thanks for doing German with me. I know this would never be one thing you'd pick. Correct. You get to pick the next date night. Dope. <laughs> the bad thing is, is anything you pick, I'm gonna love, because I love all foods. You stepped outside your boundaries though tonight, tried some stuff you'd never would order, and for that, you're even more attractive. Thank you. Jack Tractive. It's derived from a Dutch word meaning prudence in financial matters. Oh. You're attractive because you ordered three beer cheeses. <laughs> Thank you. Something I have not tried yet, the kraut. Value. I grew up eating sauerkraut. It's not weird to me. I think it's one of those foods, I can't even believe, like if you've never had it, and then somebody puts it in front of you, you're like, what is this gray mush? You wanna try it? Then you've tried everything and you've conquered Mount Germany. It's really just cabbage and vinegar. Yeah, I think of all of the flavors of vinegar, like, it's just not my... Forte? Preferred flavor of choice. Give me salt, give me sugar, sometimes acid. Mm -hmm. It's not vinegar, generally. Thinking about this for the soft pretzel, my favorite part of a big soft pretzel like this is the knot. I like the big, thick knot part, like way more than just the, the swoopy arms. I think you should take the knot. <laughs> like this piece right here, this knot, this is where it's at. This is my favorite. It's like softer and just there's more there. I mean, that's like such a well-made pretzel. Yeah, they crushed this. I cannot believe how mad, we've had this before. Like not in- Years ago. I love that place. Such a good ger German beer hall. Such good German beers. Big, like huge kind of picnic table style seating. It's very inviting. Mm. So like the fact that this pretzel is no longer warm, but like it's not hard, it's still like- Yes. Floofy, but has like a nice crispy outer edge and like that's that's a good pretzel. Integrity and I, remains. Yes. So many pretzels are clearly like microwaved and like microwaved bread gets like hot and you have like a millisecond to eat it when it's not too hot. Such a good point. Before it turns to stone. Yes, such a good point. How many bar soft pretzels do you think we've shared in 10 years together? A thousand. <laughs> we generally order it if it's on the menu. Yeah. Even if we're not hungry. Anybody watching this is a Chicago person too. What bars have the best soft pretzels? Obviously Lincoln Square and kind of like that German village up there. It's really far from where we're at so I was afraid to get anything too, too far. Prost is like less than two miles away. So that was the thought process behind this one. And they have a good variety of things. And they just continue to get better and better. That place has gotten better over time. Damn you good. It really is. Before we get out of here and heat up a bunch of this stuff and sit on the couch and watch TV, what would be like your, since German was really my thing. Hey, thanks again. <laughs> what would be your Mount Rushmore of date night cuisines for something like this? Foxtrot wine. Does that not count? Wine delivered quickly. <laughs> wine is a cuisine. <laughs> they deliver it the best. Seriously though. Sushi, ramen. Italian, but only specific Italian. Alavita delivered is fantastic. Orzo's delivered, fantastic. Plus they have a cannoli on the menu. Actually, any place that has a cannoli on the menu. Look at this dog. He's very excited and just wants to be included. Do you want a little piece of a pretzel? No, it just encourages him. Good boy. You're a star. Okay, you get one more piece. Good boy. Oh, and like a coconut curry. Like Urban Belly has a good one that I really, really like. That's a fantastic foursome. The stuff that like we can't, we don't make here. Yeah. I mean, we make shitty ramen, but like not the like ramen broth that's been like stewing and simmering and just like, oh. Yeah, that's on a different level. It is. That's happiness. I love those answers. Thank you. <laughs> Ow! All right, before this dog has a heart attack of jealousy, he <laughs> can't eat schnitzel. No. Can you snap? <laughs> the Roy Will Fan Club, five bucks a month. All these people making this show possible. Thank you so much for supporting what we do here on the vlog. And as always, the Venmo, the PayPal, the Cash App, to donate, like Quentin. <laughs>
Quentin dropped the mustards in the mail for me and oh. donated on top. <laughs> Lionel's also saying how excited he is. The mustard bomb, four of them sent here, and a donation on top of that. Quentin, you're a real one. This might be the first soft pretzel I've ever had that will save well. Truly. What's that about? I don't know. Quality bread making. I'm obsessed. I'm glad you're so happy. <laughs> a German smorgasbord up, a German smorgasbord down, and so much to go. Prost. How do you say be good to each other in German? Seid gut zueinander.